Hi, my name is Naomi and I wanted to do an experiment to see what yeast like to eat more, whole wheat or white flour. The topic I chose is yeast. Yeast falls under the topic of biology since it's a living thing. It is commonly found on plant leaves, flowers and fruits as well as in soil. It can be used in the making of alcoholic drinks such as beer and wine, bread, marmite, vegemite, and synovus. There are about 1,500 species of yeast, but only 500 for baking purposes. The word yeast comes from the Old English word gist, meaning foam or bubble. I chose the topic of yeast because I wanted to learn more about them and how they are used. Yeasts are cells that can eat that eat sugar such as flour and are used in the making of many different kinds of foods such as bread or alcoholic drinks. What is yeast? In bread, yeast help the dough rise. Yeast is used to ferment grapes to turn it into alcohol. Yeast can also be used to consume and break down environmental pollutants in order to clean up a polluted site. A hypothesis is a prediction that explains the experiment you are conducting conducting. Do different types of flour affect yeast activity? Hypothesis. If you use white flour, then the yeast will rise faster. I want to find out if different kinds of flour make the dough rise more or less. These are the things that I used for this experiment. 1 teaspoon yeast per cup, 100 milliliter water, um, 4 tablespoons flour, 1 teaspoon sugar, two plastic clear cups, one teaspoon, one tablespoon, a camera, and a timer. This is what I did in the experiment. Mix yeast, sugar, and water in the cups and add the whole wheat to one cup and white flour to the other cup and stir. Set the timer for 15 minutes and after 15, come back and set the timer again. Repeat eight times. Every 15 minutes when the timer goes, check on the dough and take pictures. By comparing all of the pictures, you can see how much the dough has risen in the 15 minutes. You can measure the height of the dough with a ruler or count the number of bubbles in each cup. You can also see in which cup the bubbles are bigger and which dough the yeast like more. During the experiment, I made these observations. The yeast were more active in the cup with white flour for the first half an hour. Half hour. The, after half an hour, the white flour dough sank down and the whole wheat dough rose more. After about an hour, the whole wheat spilled out the back of the cup and continued to rise on the napkin. The whole wheat, the white flour stayed about the same after one hour, while the whole wheat was still rising. In conclusion, my hypothesis was not correct and the yeast preferred the whole wheat. Now it's time to test your knowledge and how well you were paying attention to my first slide about yeast. How many species of yeast used in baking are there? A. About 780 B. About 300 C. About 230 D about 500. D about 500. The first yeast factory was invented in A. 1866. B. 1874. C. 1839. D. 1864. A. 1866. How big are yeasts? A. 1 to 2 micrometers. B. 2 to 3 micrometers. C, three to four micrometers. D, four to five micrometers. C, three to four micrometers. Yeast is used in the making of A, baked goods. B, wine. C, beer. D, all of the above. D, all of the above. Which one of the following is not a yeast body part? A, a membrane. B, hair, C, cell wall, D, vacuole, B, hair.
What does yeast not have? A. Vitamin A. B. Calcium. C. Vitamin B12. D. Vitamin B6. A. Vitamin A. Yeast are really interesting creatures and I hope to find out more about them in the future. In the future, I would like to find out what yeast like to eat more, flour or sugar, so that way I can find out how much sugar and flour I should put in each cup. I would like to do an experiment not only with white flour and whole wheat, but with different types of flour such as oat flour, rye flour, spelt flour, and barley flour. I would also like to find out how long yeast stays active in the fridge, on the counter, outside, different temperatures, and how long they stay active in dough. Yeast is very important in our day-to-day -day life because it is all around us and we should learn about it. Yeast is used in food, but it can also be used to consume and break down environmental pollutants in order to clean up a polluted site, so that means they also help make the world a better place.